Today we're going to talk about the theorems of Pappus and Goldenus. Goldenus, Goldenus, whichever. All right. These theorems are used to find surface area or volume of uh, 3D objects, okay, or objects rotating about an axis. So our first theorem is the area of the surface of a body of a body of revolution is the product of the generating line and the distance through which it's centroid and the distance through which oops it's centroid travels in producing the area Alright, so let's look about that in an equation form. Equation form is surface area is equal to theta r bar L, where theta is equal to the angle of revolution in radians. R bar is equal to the shortest distance from the centroid of the generating line to the axis of revolution. And then L is equal to the length of the generating line of the generating and of course A is the first theorem or the surface area. All right let's draw a picture. So if I have here some axis A, A that's floating around in space at no specific angle, and I add my generating line here. That's terrible. Undo, undo. I'm trying to draw a nice, pretty straight line. I should know better by now. All right, that goes from A to B, and it has a length here. L, right, length of the generating line. Okay, this generating line is also going to have a centroid. That doesn't look very centroid ish. Let me draw it again. <laughs> eh, centroid C. Okay, and the shortest distance from that centroid to my line, so I need it perpendicular to my line here going to be this. So this is my R bar. It's perpendicular to AA, right? Shortest distance, just like a moment. And then if I revolve this thing, okay, it's going to make this lampshade 
right surface area here A to B okay if I do one full revolution by the way and in radians that would be 2 pi right for 360 degrees so this is my theta R bar L there's all of my terms uh, and picture format as well as defined okay am I missing anything else no I don't think so all right moving on to the second theorem All right, we can find the volume of a solid revolution is the product of the area of the generating surface and the distance through which its centroid travels in the gen in generating the volume get all my words there and the distance through which its centroid travels in generating the volume hopefully you can see here why we were discussing centroids of lines and centroids of areas in our previous lecture series right because now we're going to be finding those centroids flinging them about an axis and finding volumes and surface areas okay so in equation format I want to match my colors I did that in black volume and I'm going to put a line through here is equal to theta r bar a where theta is still the angle of revolution in radians r bar is equal to the shortest distance from the centroid of the area to the axis of rotation and A is equal to the area or the area of the generating surface however you want to word that okay so this one's a little bit different but not too much so if I have still my tilted axis here AA but this time I do a trapezoidal shape A B C and D okay I would have area A B C and D that would have some sort of centroid around here ish Okay, my radius is again going to be perpendicular to surface AA, R bar, and
Okay, so we're going to have this volume. now created all oh, my beautiful lines okay so this looks more like an angel food cake right versus the uh, lampshade and the other one I know, always with the food, and this would be going around here, one full revolution, two pi. Um, now this example is just two pi. Can we do half a revolution? Absolutely. Quarter revolution? Absolutely. This one is just, I'm just drawing a full revolution uh, poorly. 